Hello and welcome to freephotoshop.com and this week's video tutorial looking at the magnetic lasso tool. Now I'm going to be covering this in two parts, starting off right here in this video where I'm going to show you how the tool operates and why you'd use it. And in the following video, I wouldn't say it's going to be more advanced, but we will be looking at how to master the tool by adjusting its settings and getting it to select whatever you want to inside your document. So I'm going to start things off by introducing you to this document on screen called Magnetic Lasso Test Track, which consists of a stroked circle and then two diagonal lines running from the corners. In the next video, we're going to use the tool on a photograph but no need to do that until we understand how the tool actually works which is what this illustration is going to do for us. So first things first, let's go ahead and make sure we've got the tool active by coming over here to the lasso tool group inside the toolbox and clicking and then holding on the tool to get the flyout menu and then selecting it from the bottom here like so. Now just in case you're wondering the free lasso tools here inside Photoshop allow us to select pixels inside the image. So we can select an area of a photograph, for example, and then work on it independently of the unselected region. And the way it does it is really unique, as you'll see. So I'm going to start a selection by coming to this white area, so you can see what I'm doing, and just clicking once and then releasing so there's no need to hold the mouse button down whilst you're working just click once and the tool will lay down its first point and then as you move the mouse around the screen you'll end up laying down more points as well as lying down segments between the points that attempt to snap into alignment with any edges that the tool finds I'm going to move the cursor around to where we began the selection uh, laying down points as we go and then when we hover the cursor, as I'm doing now, above the first point we created, therefore completing the selection outline, we'll see this very small O next to the cursor. And that indicates that if we click here, we can close the selection outline, which I'll go ahead and do. And you can now see that once we've done that, the magnetic outline, complete with the points and its path-like segments, switches into a regular selection outline. Now the reason we got this rather odd shape is because with the background being pure white there were no edges for the tool to find and snap to. So this time I'm going to try and align my selection to this black line. And I'll do this of course by clicking first of all on the outer edge of the black line, then releasing the mouse of course like we did before. And now I'm going to drag very slowly around the shape like so. And once again we're laying down points that are snapping to the line. Now I'm going to keep going and when I get to the line that intersects the circle I'm going to start to drag inwards. So in other words I'm going to follow the line towards the center of the shape and when I do that you'll notice that we have a slight problem with selecting right into this corner. Now I want to put that right because as I've always said if you're going to do a job you might as well do it well so I'm going to start by zooming into the area so I can get a better view of it and I'll do that by holding down the control key here on the PC that's the command key on the Mac which gives me access to the zoom tool here and I'll just click a few times to get myself zoomed in and when I release those keys I've still got the selection path active and so I can continue without having to start the selection again also I should note that if you want to drag the image whilst you're using the magnetic lasso tool you can still use that spacebar dragging trick so just hold down the spacebar and drag the image around so we've got the image zoomed and panned to where we want it and we've also got our selection still active and available the trouble is we've introduced a few of these control points that we really don't need well that's no problem, we can go ahead and use the delete or backspace keys here on the PC and I'm pretty sure that works just the same on the Mac and every time we press delete or backspace we delete a point. So I'll delete all the points we don't want until we get back to, well here I'd say and now I can carefully move back into the corner area and to ensure we're creating the perfect outline we can manually set a point right here inside the corner by just clicking no need to right click or anything like that just a standard left click and then we can continue following the line and as we do and you're just thinking well, I'm running out of screen here to work with Photoshop will auto scroll the document for you 
which in my opinion isn't always a good thing because it's going to cause anybody who's laying down these points to lay down more points than we actually need. So if that happens to you, just go ahead and hit that delete or backspace key like so until we get back to where we were in the first place. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out of the image by this time alt spacebar clicking or if you're on the Mac that would be option spacebar clicking to get back to the 100% view size. Another great way of zooming when you've got the magnetic lasso tool active by the way is just to use the plus and minus keys on the keyboard so feel free to experiment with those. Now say I'd done selecting and I just wanted to create the selection outline and I don't want to drag the mouse all the way back to the start point so instead of that I can either hold down the control key on the PC and that's the command key on the Mac and then just click or I can simply double click with the mouse either way I'll join the point I create when I click to the first point and therefore complete the selection outline. Okay, I'm going to hit Control D, that's Command D on the Mac, to deselect that area so I can start again. And I've got a few more things to show you here. I'm going to start a new selection by clicking on this black line to add a point, like I've done previously. And I'll start dragging downwards like I did before because I want to show you what we can do to access both the regular lasso tool and the polygonal lasso tool whilst we're working with the magnetic lasso tool. And here's how we do it. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and then click and drag with the mouse and now I've converted the magnetic lasso to the regular lasso. Now to access the polygonal lasso I'm going to simply keep the Alt or Option keys pressed but I'm going to release the mouse and drag to form a line then I can click to set a point release the mouse again and then drag and this is ideal for having maximum control to select those awkward corners by the way once we're done and we want to switch back to the magnetic lasso we simply release the alt or option key and continue as normal now instead of finishing this selection off because it's not one that I need to keep or anything like that so I'm going to press the escape key on the keyboard and that will remove all the points and segments from the document like so. Well like I said there you have it you now have all the knowledge you need to get up and running with the magnetic lasso tool here inside of Photoshop however if that didn't quite do it for you if you want to truly master the tool then I'd recommend joining me for the second and final part of this video right here at freephotoshop.com where we're going to look at all of these options up here in the options bar and assume maximum control for guiding the magnetic lasso tool right here inside Photoshop. For now, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in part two.